Welcome to Magic's Monologue, quick and dirty, number seven. And of course, I'm Magic. My fiance, 25 female, is cheating on me with her best friend, female, 26. She refuses to cut contact with her best friend. What can I do to have her see my point of view? But first, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and smack that bell as you would joyfully smack a good beauty. He writes, My laptop broke, so my fiancé said I could have her MacBook until I get another one. She didn't realize she still had her stuff connected to it, and I would receive her messages. They had very sexual messages, sexting, etc. I didn't even know she was bi. I don't care about that, but the messages scared me. I cried a lot, and it still hurts. Smack to the back of the head. What do you mean you don't care? What the hell is wrong with you? She has lied by omission by not telling you she's bi, and she is cheated on you. I know many guys think having a bi wife means cool threesomes. However, it really works out that way, and it usually blows up in your face. I confronted her and she admitted that she hooks up with her best friend and that she's sorry. She told me it's just S-word fun because she wouldn't date a woman, but she doesn't mind S-word fun with them even though she prefers S-word fun with men. This didn't fly because by that logic, I could have S-word fun with a girl as long as I wouldn't date that person. There's no way this is acceptable and I never cheated on anyone in my life. She agreed that she's wrong and apologized. She wants to try and work things out since she loves me and so do I. I had conditions. We do couples therapy. She said yes, but after the wedding. Slap to the back of the head. Oh, so she wants the reward for bad behavior by getting her day locking you in first before she pretends to change? What are you? Stupid? Desperate? Both? She has your number, buddy. She knows you have no self-esteem and you are what is called a beta simp. This is why she picked you, because she knows she can manipulate you. She is to cut contact with her best friend. She refused. I said fine, only hang out with her as a group. She refused. Reduce contact. She refused. She told me I had no right to try to make her alter her relationship with her best friend and the only thing she, willing was, she was willing to do was to have her not be the maid of honor. Slap to the back of the head. That's for even entertaining her delusional premises or model of the world. I get that's her best friend, but now I get serious anxiety when they hang out and even though she says she stopped sexting and hooking up with her. Every guy watching this right now knows she's lying. But you, right? I feel like her approach has been just telling me to get over it and it's not fair. It's not like this happened years ago. It happened a couple weeks ago. My brother, you need serious help. You are so emotionally manipulated, you can't even see straight. The most powerful and smartest thing you can do is end this right now and walk away. There is no fixing this. She's a liar and a cheat. She does not love you. You are just the guy she's settling with so she gets her wedding day, her house, her kid, and then she'll kick you to the curb 
make you pay for her lifestyle, and after which she'll move in her girlfriend into the house you're paying for. Once a cheater, always a cheater. Tell everyone the truth about why you're ending this. Do not mince words. She lied and she cheated. Never let a woman control the narrative. Then block her on everything. Expect calls from all her friends and family saying, It was a mistake and that you need to man up. That is called manipulative shaming language, by the way. No, a mistake is forgetting to carry the one when ending and subtracting. What she did was willful and premeditated. Tell them no and block them as well. She will ambush you, try to come back, and promise you everything. Listen carefully. Never take her back. If you do, you're an idiot and deserve the effing she will give you in the future. Next, get your butt to the gym, find a male therapist, and fix your self-esteem issues. Lastly, go back and binge watch my videos on my channel, especially my video on attracting the wrong women. Learn from them. Give them a thumbs up as you do so to help me out. I want your personal stories to share. If you see an article online you think I should cover, send the whole story and the link just in case it's not there by the time I get there. Send it to stories at magicsmonologue.com. This way, others can learn from your victories, joys, and defeats as we work to not only support each other, but to help each other become better men. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys or check out my memes. Also, you can subscribe to my Rumble, Twitter, Getter, and Gab. In doing so, you are certainly helping to educate other men and Piss off a Karen near you. Until next time. Thank you for watching. Before you run off, check out these other videos and give them a thumbs up which helps me create more content.